safe day i am so excited i am going to see green velvet at the drive-in in chicago tonight woo woo um as you can tell i look a hot mess it's been such a busy week for me I had a lot of work to do so i'm just ready to have a good time with my boo we're going to the drive-in i'm bringing my husband for some good house fun and your girl is taking over female ravers united i'm taking over the story so i gotta get all ready for that but since i don't really have time to mess with all of this i'm gonna go get my hair braided and i'll see you back when i get ready all right the fit if you can see here got this skirt from melita ribbed black top from raven mihente got my pashmina just in case fan add a little color glow effects got my nomad candy and brits blossom earrings and we'll see with the hair i think i might actually do hmm, flowers in my hair instead of the kitty ears but we'll see all right family i'm back look at my hair and i'm dressed this is um, Raven Vigente from her ribbed line. I got uh, Nomad Candy, Brits Blossoms. I got these cute little balls from um, my friends at, I think it's like Moody. She does these really cool earrings, but I got these balls I put on there. And my skirt is from um, Relita Couture. And I have the fishnets on. I'm running really, really late, so I'm gonna do my makeup here and chat with you guys as I go. So I'm so, so excited because today is my first ever over. And I'm so stoked for that. And of course, now I can't find my foundation. Hold, please. All right, I think I'm gonna do like a very cool eye with kind of some silver glitter or clear glitter keep it simple because i want the whole focus to be on my lip i'm going to do a signature purple lip that i've been doing lately i love this color so much so i am going to do that but yeah guys today is my first ever takeover and i'm so excited i'm taking over rampage for female ravers united if you don't already know, I recently became an admin and I am so honored to be an admin with all of those ladies. They're just so kind and it's truly like a sisterhood and we really care about the group and connecting people in the rave community and I just am, like I said, really honored to be a part of that group. I know when I'm putting on my face, I've been using the Naked Decay, Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. Let's see if it'll come into focus here. Um, honestly, I'm just trying to get through this bottle. <laughs> it moves around a lot, which is not my cup of tea oh i look really greasy i put some oil on my arms um but it's gonna have to do because your girl's not gonna waste a whole bottle of foundation so there's that of course i'm running late work went over but yeah back to what i was saying so i'm taking over my first paid i'm so excited this is the first rave that I have gone to since quarantine. The last one I went to was Carl Cox, a, a new venue in Chicago called Radius. And everyone was so excited about the venue, the new venue, and we still are. But obviously we can't use it right now. So that has been a cluster. Um, so 
so I am just excited to hear live music again. My friend Melissa is going to be there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see her or not because they're telling us we can't move around. And unless we time it right and we get there at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to see her, to be honest. You should see. I'm just gonna do like a really simple eye because Mama is running a long time. But I'm just gonna work this around with my finger. When in doubt, use your finger, ladies. It can go so far, looking good. really pretty this I think I'm gonna go right and kind of do something like this maybe a little Ooh. maybe a little shadow after that that's pretty do some purple to bring up my purple in the cut crease maybe Yeah, it has been crazy, y'all. I'm gonna do this one right here in the crease.
exhausted that I still look good <laughs> where's my necklace I had such a good time 
gave life and the Ray fam is still alive. I can feel it. I felt the energy tonight. And guys, once festivals come back full swing, it's going to be popping. Like I had such a good time. I am still out there. We still exist. Raving is not dead. I had such a good time. I hope this brings you hope that soon we will have live events again. Oh, hey guys, it's the next day after the drive-in. I'm just coming on here because um, I was actually filming a follow-up to my Peloton vlog, so make sure you guys check those out. But I wanted to say that I had such, such, such a good time at Green Velvet last night. I just felt like, I don't know, I guess I had forgotten just the pure joy and bliss that you experience at a live event. And for me, it really just reminded me how much I love the Chicago rave community, how much I love festivals in general, how much I love the music, how much the music is so much better live, and just the sense of community. I miss that in an in-person setting. And it really reminded me of that. If you want more tips around what you should do in a drive-in rave, make sure that you check out Vibe with AIDS video. I'll make sure to link that below. She has like a great rundown of her rave, uh, drive-in rave festival experience, and she gives you tips. There isn't much more that I have in terms of tips to share with you other than that, so I thought that that would be a really good resource for you if you're looking into going to a festival or drive-in rave like that. But I will say this. Number one, we are as best as everyone around us, so there is security that's going to go back and forth, but please just... Stay with the protocol. Make sure that you're actually socially distancing. I know you've probably heard this with in other videos and Vibe with Aid mentioned it, but really we have to be on our best behavior because going to that it made me realize that I miss it so, so much, the actual festival experience. And we can't go back to that until everybody's on their P's and Q's, to be completely honest with you. Other tips, I would say if you're going to bring food, make sure that you're bringing like finger food, something that's like really accessible. I think I made like some like small like pig in the blankets for me and my husband to eat and then we had some chips, salsa, popcorn. Um, I know people were bringing like actual candy like Sour Patch Kids or whatever, um, stuff like that. And I would also say make sure that you get there early so that you can get the best uh, spot available. For us, the sound did come from the stage, so it was like a live event, a typical live event. And obviously, the more you off to the, are off to the side or to the back, that's going to affect the sound quality. So make sure that you get there early. You can get your spot in the center. You can get all set up. Because I do think that depending on where you are, it could be more cramped and it could be off to the side where you just, the sound just isn't the best. So I would say just get there early compared to like maybe if you were at a festival and you can push your way up. This is not that kind of vibe. You can't push your way up with a car, okay? Other than that, I think that was the main thing. Oh. And it's really dark out there, just like any festival, but I think, you know, you might want to bring a toy or something that lights up that you can play around with because you aren't having that, like, very interactive socialness that we typically get from a festival. You get to interact with your group. So that's great, but you know, just to like pass the time and kind of interact with each other, you can look off and if you see someone has something that lights up, you can watch that person without kind of interacting with that person. I hope that makes sense. And also, if you're coming in a group, like your whole Ray fam's coming and there's multiple cars, you may wanna meet up in a space outside of the venue so that you can go in together and get parked near each other. Luckily, another car of within our rave group and we were parked pretty near them, so we were able to see them and interact with them, obviously with our masks on, but from a distance we could still see them and say hi. So just wanted to throw that out there. 
it's going to be the safest route you're not going to go be going in between cars and everything you'll really be practicing distancing and like i said that's what's most important so that we can get club shows back so that we can get festivals back so i hope that was helpful i hope you enjoyed this vlog i had so much fun and i can't wait until live events come back like this really pumped me up if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click that subscribe button for more rave content from me. And make sure you click that little bell to get notified when a new video posts. <laughs> My son. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, positive self, positive wealth. Bye, guys.